Hello, Shabbat Shalom. I hope you're well and I hope you've had a good week. Um, I'd like to this week share a story of what happened to me a couple of days ago, part of the adventures of being a Chabad rabbi. So uh, I, I get contacted by a different Chabad rabbi who's got someone in their community who has a business partner, non-Jewish person, with a son, a student, that unfortunately got stabbed and is in a hospital that I am a chaplain of and wanting to know if, as a chaplain, I can go to visit this boy to give him some uh, encouragement and care and love. So uh, I go a few days ago to visit this boy and he's recovering. Uh, please God, he shall recover fully. Um, and, uh, you know, what am I supposed to say? Uh, just to try and give him a little bit of attention and care. But then what I did is I shared with him the story of the tightrope walker that um, I took out all the the rabbi and religious elements of the story and just made it a little bit more universal. Um, and basically the story of the tightrope walker that attempts to cross, uh, you know, a floor and falls off and everyone's laughing at them. You can't do it. Um, and then gets back, thinks, concentrates and reminds himself of something gets back on the rope and then goes straight across, no problem. And they asked the Tyro Booker, tell me, what did you have to remind yourself of in order to be able to cross over so easily? And the Tyro Walker says that when I, um, that uh, what I reminded myself is that when I get on that rope, I shouldn't look right, I shouldn't look left, shouldn't look down. What I need to do is stay focused on the very end of the rope. And if I stay focused on the very end of the rope, that will make sure that I, um, that will make sure that I, 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 I don't fall off. And sharing with this boy saying, you know, I'm sure you're going through a very challenging time and stay focused on where you want to get to. And hopefully that will help you, uh, you know, with all the different places that you can fall along the way. Hopefully that'll help you stay focused. And uh, later in the day, I got a message from the dad saying how he went to visit the boy and he's just going on about this rabbi that came to visit and how touching it was and meaningful and uh, inspirational. So uh, that's the story of the week and Shabbat Shalom.